Here is Russia's top security chief, Nikolai Patrushev, waiting for his guest Wang Yi at the Volinskoye Congress Park Hotel, about seven kilometers from the Kremlin. The atmosphere was relaxed and the meeting was friendly. But the topics covered by the two sides in the discussions were far from easy and relaxing. Our meeting is happening during a rapidly changing international situation. The ongoing transformation of the geopolitical landscape is followed by the provoking of new and inciting of old conflicts. In that context, I want to confirm our immeasurable support for Beijing in the issues of Taiwan, Xinjiang, Tibet and Hong Kong, which are used by the West to discredit China. It was during the open part of the meeting that the two officials addressed some pressing international issues. Nikolai Patrushev confirmed that Russian President Vladimir Putin will visit China in October during the 10th anniversary of the Belt and Road Initiative. Wang said China and Russia bear special responsibility for maintaining global strategic stability. As permanent members of the United Nations Security Council and responsible countries, we work closely together on the international stage to jointly defend true multilateralism, oppose all acts of bullying, and jointly promote the development of the global governance system in a fairer and reasonable direction. Following the China-Russia talks, they were joined by officials from Mongolia, a landlocked country between China and Russia, and heavily dependent on its imports from those two countries. And all three parties agreed there is a need to increase interaction and coordination on international and regional issues. Wang wrapped up his day in Moscow with a closed-door meeting with Jadamba and Bayar, secretary of the Mongolian National Security Council. On Wednesday, China's foreign minister travels to St. Petersburg, where he is scheduled to hold talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Alyosha Milenkovich, CGTN, Moscow.